Hey YouTube, this is SuckSuckGuitar1 and today I'm going to show you the other application that I use quite often on my phone which is uh, Google Maps. So let's launch the application. It's a Java application so it's compatible with quite a few phones. I have it on my Kibo. <clears throat> the method that I used to get this on my phone was the same method that I used to get Opera Mini. To get Opera Mini on my phone I replaced Telus Navigator. To get this on my phone, I had to replace Telus Mobile Music. Although I, I did use music once in a while, I thought it would be kind of cool to have Google Maps. Okay, anyways, so here's Google Maps. It launched up. Um, again, this is this seems to be covered under my $10 a month mobile browsing, so it's pretty cool. And this is actually quite heavy on, uh, on the data. It uses it quite often. Um, anyways... The, re the reception here is pretty good, so it's loading all right. Uh, I was just focused in there on Algonquin Park in Canada. Now, let's search the map. You press the left button here to, uh, to search the map for whatever you want. Um, I'm going to do Toronto. Toronto. It'll search for you and come up with it right there so as you can see it's uh... it's pretty snappy in searching it's all loaded up now it really depends on how your reception is the reception in my area like as you can see by there it's not very good here i don't really have any bars for either i guess that would be considered like one bar it's just just enough to get the uh... data but it's not very good but um... when i'm in a place with full bars this thing is pretty darn fast so uh... yeah i highly recommend this application so i'm going to show you some of the features here okay so it says press ok for options you can get directions you can do street view you can save as a favorite search nearby i'm going to try street view here i was quite surprised that it had street view on it um, so it gives you a little preview there there's bluer street expand and uh, th that picture is still loading but there we go it's loaded it's giving us a street view of, uh, of Bloor Street Bloor and Young so you can move around as you can see I just got an arrow so if I press forward now I'll, I'll go forward to the next picture you can move turn left and I'll get another arrow to uh, to go in th that direction so it's, it's great you can uh, I find that feature really, really awesome. They actually included Street View in this. I didn't think they would. Because, uh, yeah, it's really cool. You can search for wherever you want and see what it actually looks like from the street. So that's enough of that. You get the point. That would be really helpful, too. Um, let's say I'm searching for a house, and I can search for the house and then Street View it to... Uh, find what the house looks like and everything. Real estate, that's a good feature there. Um, another thing we can do here is uh, we can go OK for options again. Get directions. So now it says end point, Toronto, Ontario. Start point, we can uh, enter a an address here. I'll just do van Vancouver, BC. So, uh, get directions. That's going to be a pretty long trip there, but, uh, should do it. Fine. And there, it gives you step by step directions. It's going to take you one day and 18 hours of solid driving, but, uh, it'll get you there. 4,374 kilometers. So it gives you step by step in a long list. Um, yeah, <laughs> look at that. This one road. Take exit 11 and uh, drive 1,313 kilometers. Imagine if your GPS told you that. Jesus. Anyways, so that's another good feature. You can also do transit, which I haven't. Obviously, you couldn't take transit all the way from Vancouver to Toronto, 
but that would work in uh, probably like a city like New York, like from one place to another. Th I'm sure that would work fine. Um, or even in Toronto, like if I wanted to go from one street to another, it should work. I've never actually tried it. And also walking directions, it'll give you um, um, a more safe way to walk there. So that's it for directions, and it'll also there's an option to uh, to show exactly on the map where you're going, not just text directions. Um, so to zoom in, we press the three key. To zoom out, we press one, and you can also change to uh, right now, right there is in satellite view. So what the place looks like from satellite, you can also do more of a a map view like that so yeah it works great again uh... same method that I in my other video that I showed you how to install Opera Mini but this is Google Street View then also I thought I'd give you a little more in-depth thing of uh... of what Opera Mini is like so let's search here uh, Best Buy dot CA. Ah, I don't know why it gives me this message once in a while that the content is forbidden. I don't know if Telus doesn't want me doing it or something, but they're not charging me, so yeah, they can tell me that once in a while. I'm not going to stop until I get a bill. And this is on prepaid, so I don't think they really care. Um, this is Opera Mini 4.2. You can also get Opera Mini 5. There, it's working. And, uh, Opera Mini 5 has some a couple more features. It's pretty nice. It just, uh... Shoot, sorry. It's just a little bit annoying because, uh... There's a couple glitches also involved in it, um... For example, on Opera Mini 4.2, if I enter an address, uh, I can do insert symbol here, and then I can just write whatever I want using the phone's built-in text um, thing, then do OK. That's important because like, when I'm inserting a symbol right here, I can't use these number keys. These number keys are represented as T9, so if I press number 1, a period comes up. I press uh, 2, it goes A, A, B, C, 2. So it thinks that these are kind of like T9 keys. And But luckily you can just do, uh, it's, not a, it's not a problem for this, but when you're like emailing or entering a password, you want to do that insert symbol thing to uh, make it so that your phone handles it, not the browser. That option isn't, doesn't work in uh, Opera Mini 5 beta. Unfortunately, so I was that that's what was annoying me. It was really hard to enter passwords and to email people. But in four, it's it's awesome because it just opens up when you're emailing and stuff. It opens up the inline text editor and then works fine. Um. So yeah, both are great applications. I would recommend both, especially Opera Mini. But uh, Google Maps is really cool too. There's also some other applications that I couldn't get working for some reason. But, uh, who knows, they might work, like eBuddy, and there's different MSN applications. Anyways, um, I'm running out of time, so thanks for watching, and bye.